what I'm doing now is, is painting the, the base portion of the, the eyes. And all I'm using is some vinyl paint. So I'll go through and paint all of these jigs. I got a Q-tip. That's my paintbrush. Do this last one. And I'll show it to you. See it? Now that's just the white portion. I will go through these others and do the black portion. Let me get my black paint set up and I'll pull you back here in just a second. All right, I'm working on the pupils now and I've got me another Q-tip. I gave these other ones a little bit of time to dry the white. Now this stuff's really durable. It's like I said earlier, it's a vinyl paint. And you can pick them off if you try, but they're they're pretty durable. They last a good while. There's one. I flip it. There's the other. Grab a hold of it and show it to you. Nice little eyes. Real easy to do. Now, I have to be honest with you guys I've stopped doing this a long time ago and I want you to think about it if you were a predator and you were looking for a meal and you had an opportunity to to eat something that had eyes or eat something without eyes which one would you go after probably the one that didn't have eyes. That's the one I'd shoot for. No, the truth of the matter, I don't do this anymore because it's a pain. And I don't, I really don't think the crappie matter one way or the other. I think all these jig heads with eyes on them are, are for people, not crappie. Because if I was going to go through the trouble of putting an eye on here, they make tons of pre-manufactured eyes that you can glue. It makes this process a whole lot easier. But like I said, I don't, I don't do it anymore. I usually just paint the, paint the lead head, powder coat it, and then I start fishing with it. Alright, thanks for watching.